Now that we have seen many examples of Jordan measurable sets, uh, the last topic that we will cover under uh, Jordan measures is its deep connection with the theory of Riemann integration. So, let us recall what what is the definition of a Riemann integral of a function. So, if f is a function defined on an interval a b to say the real numbers r and it is a bounded function bounded function then one can define the Riemann integration a to b f x d x is a real number called the Riemann integral of f defined as follows. So, I am going to just give you a brief uh, recall of uh, the original definition of the Riemann integral. So, the intuition is pretty straight, pretty straightforward. So, if you have a function between points a and b, a and b, then you can partition this uh, interval a b into into in sub intervals of possibly different length, but that is not important. So, here you have points x naught which is equal to x 1 then which is equal to a then x 1, x 2, x 3 and so on and b is equal to x n. So, you have n plus 1 points dividing the interval the segment a b into sub intervals um, and we put delta x i to be the difference x i minus x i minus 1. So, i is equal to 1 to n here and then for each sub interval you choose a point um, call it t 1, t 2 and so on t 3. So, for each x i for each sub interval x i minus 1 x i choose a point t i in this interval and in this way we form what is called a tagged partition. So, this is called a tagged partition of a b and then one defines the sum the Riemann sum is defined to be f of the value of f at this point t i multiplied by this length of the interval del x i i from uh, 1 to n. So, this is the Riemann sum of f with respect to the partition p that the tagged partition p that we have defined here. So, this is called the Riemann sum Riemann sum of f with respect to the tagged partition p and the Riemann integral a to b f x d x is the limit of this Riemann sums f p the limit is taken over all partitions p tagged partitions tagged partitions and the maximum the norm of the partition goes to 0 where this norm of the partition is simply the supremum of this del x i is i equal to uh, i from 1 to n. So, <coughs> as the size of the intervals in the partition goes to 0, you take the limit of these Riemann sums and if this limit exists, then this is called the, the value that you get as a limit is called the Riemann integral of f. So, this is the original definition of Riemann, but unfortunately it is not very convenient in practice 
when you want to actually compute the uh, integral, the Riemann integral of uh, say a continuous function over an interval, then this uh, tag partition um, definition is not very convenient to use. So, an equivalent formulation is given by Darbu, Darbu integration. Um, in this integral, the Darbu integral is defined using a similar partition, but rather than using a tagged partition, it uh, considers the maximum and minimum value. So, over this interval, over a sub interval of this partition, what is the maximum and minimum value of the function f that it takes on this sub interval. So, here this lower part, the, lo uh, the lower horizontal line can be denoted say x lower star and uh, f of x lower star rather and this is f of x upper star. So, this is the supremum of the values of f over the sub interval and the lower star f x lower star is the infimum of the values of f uh, over this interval. So, the Darbu sums, uh, the Darbu integration is defined using the Darbu sums, Darbu sums, upper and lower Darbu sums. So, the upper one, upper Darbu sums is defined u f with respect to a partition p. This is defined to be um, the sum from 1 to n uh, f x i and the i th partition take the maximum value of f, f x upper star and then multiply it with the size of the sub interval. So, this is the supremum over <coughs> uh, x i less than or equal to sorry x i minus 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to x i f of x this is the supremum value of f over this sub interval and the lower lower darbu sum darbu sum is given by the same sum but instead of f of a star you use f lower star and this is the infimum of uh, fx as x ranges between the interval xi minus 1 to xi and the Darbu integral is defined integral f b a to b fx dx is defined if um, the limit as the norm of the partition goes to 0, u f p is equal to the limit as the norm of the partition goes to 0 as of the lower Darbu sum and this is equal to a to b f x dx. <coughs> So, these two limits are the same. Now, a fundamental theorem of integral calculus says that a function, a bounded function, a bounded function f from an interval a b to r is Riemann integrable, Riemann integrable if and only if it is Darbo integrable. Now, the definition due to Darbo um, is uh, more convenient to use and in fact, not only, so in fact, this theorem not only says that when f is Riemann integrable if and only if it is Darbu, Darbu integrable, but also that the values of the integrals are the same. So, 
the values of the integrals of the Riemann and Darboux integrals Darboux integrals are the same in this case. So, one can use the Darboux uh, definition and it is more convenient to use as we will see. Uh, so, the connection with Jordan measure is the following theorem which says that if E a subset of R is a bounded subset bounded subset then E is Jordan measurable if and only if Uh, the function, the indicative function of E, chi E, which is defined as 1 if x belongs to E and 0 otherwise, is Riemann integrable, is Riemann integrable in the sense that integral a to b chi e x dx exists meaning that it is a finite number where e is a subset of this interval a b. So, because e is a bounded subset we can always find a and b such that e is a subset of this interval a b and in this case the indicative function from a b to uh, the reals is well defined and the and then we can talk about the Riemann integral of the indicator function of E and this statement says that E is Jordan measurable E is Jordan measurable if and only if this integral exists. So, this is what we want to prove this is the first connection that we want to prove uh, with the Jordan measure. <coughs> so, let us try to prove this, but before we prove this we will make a another equivalent reformulation equivalent reformulation <coughs> of Darboux integration Darboux integrals which will be which will be more convenient for our purposes and in fact it will give us an idea how to define uh, the Lebesgue integral when we uh, talk about Lebesgue measurable functions. So, <coughs> the equivalent reformulation of Darboux integrals depends on the definition of the so called piecewise constant functions, piecewise constant functions. So, a function g from an interval a b to r is called piecewise constant piecewise constant if there exists a partition a partition uh, of a b into finitely many intervals finitely many sub intervals let us call them i k, k equal to 1 to n such that this function g takes a constant value constant value c k on each i k. So, c k belongs to r on each i k for k equal to 1 to up to n. So, this is called a piecewise constant function. So, for a piecewise constant function, we define the Riemann Riemann Darboux integral integral 
as follows. So, I will denote this as A to B with a cut in between to show that to distinguish it from other functions. So, the riemann darboux integral for a piecewise constant function g is given by the sum i equal to 1 to n c k m i k. So, this is a definition and uh, one should show as an exercise one should show that this definition is independent of the partition used, independent of the partition i k. So, which means that if you have another partition i prime k, then the values of g, the constant values c k prime on of g on those i k primes and will give you the same result when you sum up this c k m i k s for any other partition. So, this is left as a definite uh, as, as an exercise for you and it is not a very difficult exercise to show. So, this is an unambiguous unambiguous definition for the riemann darbo integral of a piecewise continuous a piecewise constant function. Now, we define for a bounded function function f from a b to r the lower the upper darbu integral darbu integral which is denoted a b with an upper bar f x d x and this is defined as the infimum of functions which are point wise less than or equal to f where g is a piece wise constant function and you take the riemann darbu integral for the piece wise con constant function g. Similarly, the lower darbu integral darbu integral Uh, is denoted by a b with a lower bar f x d x and this is uh, sorry the upper one is going to be f less than or equal to g g p is first constant and the lower one will be given by g point wise less than or equal to f g p is first constant and you take the riemann darbo integral of the piecewise constant function g. So, these are the upper and lower darbo integrals and it can be shown, it can be shown without much difficulty again that the lower darbo integral a to b f x d x is always less than or equal to the upper darbo integral. And when the equality holds in this inequality, we call this uh, the common value as the Darbo integral. So, when, when equality holds, this is that the upper, the lower Darbo integral is equal to the upper Darbo integral then this common value is denoted by the integral of f x from a to b. And in fact, one can also show that the lower Darbo integral is exactly this uh, the limit over all partitions with the norm of the partition going to 0 of the lower Darbo sums and the upper Darbo integral is precisely the limit over partitions 
with the norm of the partition going to 0 of the upper Darbu sums. So, this definition is just a reformulation of our previous definition with respect to the upper and lower Darbu sums, but nevertheless this will be more convenient to use for our purposes.